Welcome friends. In this jQuery video tutorials, we are going to learn jQuery Ajax methods. jQuery Ajax methods are used to load the data from server without page refresh. It also helps us to capture events that fires at different stages of Ajax request. So first let us learn the Ajax method. How to send asynchronous HTTP request to the server and get response. To send the asynchronous HTTP request to the server and get the response, AJAX method can be used. Okay, let us learn this with example. So let's go back to AJAX method. Okay, and here you can see that I have a button called BTN AJAX, and on click of the button, what I have done is I have fired the AJAX method. And in that method, I have passed type as a parameter and type the value is post means I want to post, I want to send the request as a post method and then on we, on which URL I have to send the request. So my URL is jQuery Ajax data dot ASPX. This is my page jQuery Ajax data dot ASPX. You can see and then I have I am passing the data data is equal to a is equal to 2 and B is equal to 5 that will be my data and then if the request is successful then I'm calling a function in that function I'm getting the res whatever response will be there from the jQuery Ajax data dot ASPX that will come as a MSG and that MSG I am specifying into the div result here this let us say this page in action so here let me go to the Ajax page simply sorry not this let's go to the Ajax method now what I'm done is as soon as I will click load data using Ajax then this particular me me method will fire and that will post the data on jQuery Ajax data dot ASPX with A and B you can see that A is here and B is this and if both will not be null then I am passing that to the integer and I'm summing it up and I'm giving as a response and then I'm waiting for 5000 millisecond so let's see this loaded data it will wait for 5000 milliseconds and it will give me the result as 7 notice that the everything is happening without any page refresh because of this jQuery Ajax method now let us see the another method that method is post and get method how to send request to and get response from server using HTTP get and HTTP post method to send request to and get response from the server using HTTP get and HTTP post we can use post and get methods respectively in this way also browser postback does not happen okay so either you use a jQuery Ajax method or you use jQuery post or get method the browser refresh will not happen let us see this so get and post now here what I have done is that I have two button first is that load data using post and second is load data using get on click of the first button what I will do is that I will fire the post method and in that post method I am going to pass the first parameter as the URL where I have to post the data and second parameter will be the value that I want to post on that page too so I am po posting I am posting a is equal to 20 and B is equal to 6 and then the third parameter will be the function that will fire on the success so on the success what will happen is this function will fire and data will have all the responses and that data will be written to div result element that is here and that's it <coughs> now let's see this because a and b will be sent and this is the post method so the request will go using the post method on this jquery ajax data so naturally we will have to retrieve those uh, form variable using request dot form okay so let us see this go back and get post loaded data using post you can see that it will give me 20 plus 6 
is equal to 26. Now let us see the get method. In the get method what will happen is all the parameters will be same. Even, <coughs> even the parameter that you are passing to the form will be the, the same. Here what I have done is just to differentiate between the post and get method. I have passed this parameter as ag as against a and b. Here I have passed ag and bg. Now when ag and bg will not be null then what will happen is this block statement will run. Notice that here I am retrieving the ag and bg using the query string because I am posting the data I am uh, sending the request using the get method. So I will have to retrieve these values using query string not with the form. So here what I will do is that it will sum up and it will give me the response. So it will again happen the same thing but here 2 plus 6 I should get 8. So let us see that loaded data is in get and you can see that the sum is 8. <coughs> let us go ahead and uh, see the next method and that method is get json. To load json data from server get json method can be used. In this way data is loaded from server using http get method. Okay. Now before we learn get json method let us know why what is what is json json is nothing but the full form of json is javascript object notation is a lightweight data interchange format it is easy for human to read and write and also easy for machines to pass and generate okay to more about to know more about json what you can do is you can go to json.org and let us see the json uh, get json method this is that if you want to know how the json data looks like then you can go to this particular url where a lot of sample json data is available now here <coughs> let me go to the get json page and what i have done here is that on click of this button i have fired the get json method and the first parameter of get json method will be the url where i have to post the data that will give me the json uh, response and the second parameter will be the <coughs> data that i have to post so first is the coming from and second is the j i can have anything i can have maybe g also okay so don't worry about it and you can pass as many parameters as you want separated by comma and then third parameter will be the function that will be called when the json request is successful it is successful so here what i have done is that i have called json callback and the data will be nothing but the json data that will come from the jquery ajax.aspx space now let us see jquery ajax.aspx space now in in jquery ajax data.aspx so what i have done is that i have uh, I, I have checked for the coming from variable that i had actually passed here and if it is not nil then I have framed the, JQ, uh, the JSON data the JSON data start with the square bracket and then all the block of data remains into the curly braces separated by comma and the field name is specified using the the field name and the value is specified in the form of key and value so key will be simply the name of the uh, field and value will be separated with the colon so here I have two block of data this is the first block and this one is the second block of data all data is separated by comma as I already told you you can go to this particular URL to see more how JSON data looks like now what will happen is when this response will be sent back then it will this function will be called because that's what I have specified here and I am trying to retrieve the first element means because this this will be the array of the elements so this will be the first object and this will be the second object so I am trying to receive the first object first name so first object first name is nothing but the sieve so I am expecting that when this request will be successful then this will give me an alert as a sieve let's see this I have replaced this space load JSON data and it is giving me sieve now let us go back and see another uh, method that method is nothing but load okay to load a page data from server into particular page content load method can be used 
An optional callback method can also be specified to catch the returned data. So let us see the load method here. Now this load method in this load uh, dot ASPX page I have a button and I have a txt area text area. What I have done is that <coughs> on the click of the BTN load I have written okay just do not worry about this okay just assume that I have written this txt area 2 dot load and I have specified the URL URL is nothing but jQuery data dot ASPX plus data okay now you may ask that what is this the problem with the load method is that if you are going to send the the query string that will contain underscore underscore view state and underscore underscore event validation then this actually doesn't parse this is to do with some conflict between jQuery with these keywords for more details on this what you can do is you can go to this particular URL actually what this particular line of code will do is that it will retrieve all the input text area select and hidden element from the form and then it will but but it will execute this underscore confused cut and underscore underscore even validation and serialize the data and then that data I'm going to send to the jQuery Ajax data dot ASPX page and when that data will be sent and whatever response I will get that will be loaded into txt area 2 so here when the request will be sent what I have done is that I have on the Ajax jQuery data dot aspect space I have modified the code little bit and whatever data I will get as a t as a query string of query string of txt area 1 because I am sending the data here in the form of query string I will just return back so what will happen is that txt whatever I will write into txt area 1 will be sent as a as a query string and then the same data will be responded back and that will be sent set into the txt area 2 let's see this let me refresh this page I have written cu narayan and I will click load simply any page content and you can see that the same data has been sent to the server and I have got the response and it has specified into txt area 2 so that was the load method the next method we are going to learn is the serialize method to serialize URL encoded notation the HTML form element data that can be sent to the server serialize method can be used actually serialize basically what it does is that it simply serializes the form uh, the HTML form data so that you can send to the server so let us see the serialize here what I have done is that I have a button and I have a text area on the click of the button I have taken all the form elements and I have just said that okay whatever form element whatever is inside the form just realize all of them and set that data into the text area one so let's see how it is looking like uh, realize and okay so let us see what is happening okay so let me refresh this uh, serialize.aspx page when I will click serialize data what will happen is whatever is there in the form as an HTML element that will be serialized and will be set into the txt area so let us see what is there here first is the view state and second is the txt area that's it only two elements are there so you can see that the first is the view state and second is the txt area that has been serialized and kept into the text area now this data is URL encoded so that you can send to the server either using query string or using form element now let us see, let us learn Ajax start and other related methods to register a handler to be called when first Ajax request begins Ajax start method can be used this can be used to show the loading or wait message now the second method that we are going to learn is that actually all these methods are covered into the same page so I am go I'm going to cover all these methods first then I will go back and cover and show you the demo the second method that we are uh, seeing on this page is Ajax send to perform certain operations when Ajax request is about to send Ajax send, send method can be used now the third method is Ajax success 
to know if the ajax request is successful ajax success method can be used the next uh, method is ajax complete to know if the ajax request is complete ajax complete method can be used and then <coughs> there is another method called ajax stop to know when all ajax request is completed and no other uh, ajax request ajax activity is in process ajax stop method can be used okay this event fires after ajax complete and then we are going to see ajax error to know if an error occurred while performing ajax operation ajax error method can be used it fires when ajax request completes with an error okay so this this many methods were there now let us see the example of each and every method that we started seeing after ajax start let us see this here is my ajax event.aspx page and what i am going to do is that <coughs> i am perform some ajax operations and going to catch the ajax events so first what i have on this page is that i have a text box whose id is a and then i have another text box whose id is b i have a button called btn post whose value is sum and on click of the button called btn post means this button I am firing a post method by passing the jQuery Ajax data dot aspx as URL where my data my request will be processed and response will be sent from and then I am passing a value a is equal to the value of a text box this and b is equal to the value of p text box use this value and the third parameter is naturally the result that will come result is nothing but the response that will come from the jquery ajax data dot aspx page and that result will be set into the div result so div result is this now we will have to modify this particular jquery ajax data dot aspx page and we'll have to comment this line of code so that a and B will fire it means that this block will fire okay now